Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video and in today's video I have a, a mini type or medium sized laptop here. This one is from Lenovo. It uses an AMD A4 processors. They are pretty much the uh, new lineup and in this video based on the request that you guys keep asking it does if you can upgrade it why can't you upgrade the ram or the in the hard drive how can you add extra ones so i'm just going to cover everything in this video so you guys can see firsthand why you can't upgrade the ram and why you cannot upgrade the hard drive on this one or ssd anything on this one so in this video let's keep it short and quick so you guys can actually see what's inside and why it's not upgradable so maybe that will answer most of the questions that you guys keep asking. First thing first, you want to flip over your laptop and you want to grab yourself an opening tool set. I use the iFixit tool set, screwdriver set, and we're going to be using the Phillips number zero. This screwdriver set are really, really handy around the house or around the shop. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover, every single one of them. Don't worry about mismatching them, they're all the same size and height, so don't worry about any mismatching the screws. Alright, now that we removed all the screws, all you need is an opening tool. I use my uh, really nice guitar pick, it's a metallic guitar pick with the soft edges, so it's really hard to scratch. And what you want to do, you want to open up your laptop or hold it in this position. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. Just stick it somewhere over there. Okay? And what you want to do, you want to twist it. You want to lift it up and go all this all around. And you want to hear those clicks. That's what you want to hear. Those are the clips that you want to unlock. Do all around it. Go to the sides. All the way towards the back. Do by the hinges at the back. This one over here, do a little bit of that side. And once you did most of it, try to grab it and wiggle it around and then pull it up and that's it. And we can see on the bottom cover, there's uh, some kind of isolation here. And there's not much here, there's no ventilation or anything. They have a ventilation, but they cover the ventilation with a copper sheet, so yeah. Down here we have the laptop, so here I'm going to explain it to you guys. The RAMs are soldered on the board under this uh, heat sink. This heat sink, there's no fan or anything like that, so the CPU stays there. This uh, pipe is going to just, this is going to spread the heat over this aluminum uh, copper sheet. And the RAMs are right underneath, on this side, under this cover, on the PCB, which is soldered on the board. So upgrading the rams are out of the question now in this country with a 64 gig mmc chip or uh, chip that is on the board is soldered on the board somewhere that that cannot be replaced and if you want to add a regular nvme or m.2 drive they actually made the board designed the board to be able to put it and they have the screw places and everything so you set the SSD drive right here, but to make the situation really worse, they do not install the jack for the M.2 drive right here, and most of the components for the same one is not installed. So you don't have the jack, unlike the Wi-Fi board. Uh, something like this has to be installed on the board, and obviously with the ex with the components, with the capacitors, and many other components, in order to be able to upgrade the hard drive. That's one thing over there. And on this side, there should be a uh, SATA connector right here. Same thing like this one with a SATA, so you could be able to put a solid state drive. They have the pins, but they have not installed the jack. And these jacks, are, even if you install the jacks out on the board, there's not enough component to start um, powering it up. So pretty much that will answer all the questions you guys have been asking me regarding the RAM not upgradable 
hard drive is not upgradable, not even SATA, not even M.2 upgradable. So pretty much this is a tablet motherboard with a keyboard and a screen. That's all you get. The only thing that you can upgrade, it's the Wi-Fi board. You can grab a Bluetooth. Maybe this is this what this one comes with the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. So you can get a better Wi-Fi board, I guess. There's not much you can do here. And there's a whole bunch of empty space here to do nothing, absolutely. All right, and now let's just put it back together and cover it up. What you want to do, grab the bottom cover, place it right on top, and then you squeeze all around it, all the way to the back. You don't want to squeeze in the middle, there's nothing in there. So, and you want to hear clicks. and there we go now the last thing will be to grab the bottom screws and then screw it down i hope this video helped you guys out and answered all your questions and if it did click that thumbs up button and if you have any more questions or requests leave them in the comment area i'll try to answer them as soon as i can and i really appreciate it if you guys subscribe it really helps and motivates me to make more videos and I show you guys any requests that you guys asking and again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video